In this tutorial, we will teach you how to turn a regular cotton texture into a chenille texture. Visit our website for a free downloadable PDF. This PDF has information like what you need, fabric recommendations, and tips before you start. The link is in the bio. Lay the fabric out on the bias. Fold the fabric to make a triangle using the selvage edge. Lay the ruler on the fold 4 inches using the rotary cutter. Cut the first piece the full length on the fold at 4 inches. Place this piece aside, right sides up. Mark the next strips at 8 inches wide with the ruler, following the previous line and place aside, right sides up. Continue to cut the strips at 8 inches wide until reaching the end of the piece of fabric. Ensure that there are 3 strips 70 inches or longer that can be laid out without joining or piecing. The other two strips can be pieced together to create 5 70 inch strips. Cut the strips as long as possible even if cutting through two layers. Take one long 70 inch or longer strip. This is your center strip. Take a shorter piece and match it with another shorter piece to make a full length. Start the second layer with a long piece to match the shorter pieces that were trimmed. Cut the end off one inch of the top layer pieces, making the center piece to be one inch longer. This will be helpful when it's time to cut the layers with the chenille cutter. Now that you have two layers that are complete on one side, use the ruler and the tailor's chalk to mark the center line. Place the ruler at 4 inches and mark the full length of the scarf. Turn the pieces over and continue as per step 5 and 6. Set the stitch length to 2.5 to 2.8 using the chalk line stitch down the length through the center of all layers. Back stitch at the start and end of each stitch line. The stitches should be in parallel lines, either 3 8 of an inch to half an inch from your first stitch line. Continue stitching until you've reached the outer edge. Trim thread ends from the stitching. Use the chenille cutter. Follow the chenille cutter guide to determine what size setting to cut on. If you stitched at 3 8 of an inch, use the larger setting. Place the cutter in between stitch lines and cut the two layers on each side. Cut in between all lines on both sides. Ensure to clean your chenille cutter to avoid a large lint buildup. Trim the side edges to half the stitch width or a quarter inch. Also, cut the ends so they are even. Using the ruler, measure at 6 inches from the ends and mark with chalk. Adjust the length if wanted. Using the scissors, cut the end edge to the chalk mark in all rows to make the fringe on both ends. Machine wash and dry on normal settings to complete. The raw edges will fray to create this beautiful chenille look. Happy sewing! Post your creations on Facebook and Instagram and tag us at Fabricland Canada.